well, I fidgeted all the schematics to where I want them to be for the video. As you can see, I'm intoxicated. I had some THC and some alcohol and some water, which isn't really toxic. But now you know the truth, and I'll explain it to you. It's mathematics. Oh, yes. I went to a party. Prom. So, how we do it is ultimately the way I see it. I told a guy, I told a couple of people. I see the long term, what I want long term. And then I navigate a path mathematically diverging to it. So what I do is a mathematic equation, not to overuse the word mathematic, but really that's, that's a pretty profound statement. What we do is a mathematic equation, and knowing that and being remotely comfortable with mathematics, I studied up until pre-calculus my junior year of high school, and then my senior year of high school I didn't take any math, and then my freshman year of college I took calculus, and the teacher, I should, I should face this on myself, but the teacher would erase the board. She would write on the board and then be like, oh, wait, oh, oh no, no, and erase. And in calculus, like high-level mathematics, you got to, it's like imprinting in the mind as, it's, as you're seeing it. And when it's erased, it's like, dude, I, if half the class was dropped. It was like people were dropping, so I dropped it. And, and then I never uh, studied a financial, financial, geez. Jesus was my in, impulse, my uh, intention. Uh, a financial institution. I meant to say a, an educational institution. But, you know, you spend the money on it, and all of a sudden it's valued, right? Maybe that's true a little bit. You can spend money on the internet and have that kind of knowledge. Hydrogen, man. And oxygen. Water. Hydrogen. Uh, let's lose my train of thought. Maybe I'll follow it to hydrogen and then follow it back, eh? I got a cat. Callie, I call her. I would say Cal, but she's a girl. I think Callie is a girl's name. And she knows I did that, because I know I did that. That's what I face with people, my friends, who some people maybe you think of me as a friend, in which case I think of you as a friend. So if I see you out, let's talk about something. So I want to use words more. I want to, you know, that's it. It's the language. Interpreting it in the language. Mathematics is a language, you know, but it's not a language that a lot of people seem to be comfortable with, from my experience. Although everyone seems to be very enticed when I talk about mathematics or explain about what I think about mathematics in the superposition, using that as a concept, explaining it to Becky is uh, in terms of a third grader. There's a superposition, which is everything you know. And everything you know, everything you've ever experienced is the superposition. It's everything. It's a, think of it as a cube. And within this... Things appear all the time, everywhere, all the time. Things are appearing. And sometimes they're appearing in the same place for a long time. So they look like they're there, like a tree. It looks like it's there, but it's appearing in the same place. And the base of this superposition is a number, a constant. Dirac's X constant. That is what gives us the angle of reality. That's the basis. Until the next evolution. See, I, I use the force, I said, or whatever you want to call it, I said, I'll talk to you soon in my mind.
but I'll talk to you soon. Oh, it's a C in my mind. It's like I've, I've trained myself to give it out on a mental note. <laughs> mental note. So that the other person has it. I think that's better. I don't want to burst you. 